Okay, so in the slideshow, you may have learned a little bit about inputs and how you have strings, how you have integers, how you have booleans. But what I'm going to do here is just walk you through a quick example of how to do that. So when we're using a string, we can get away with a simple input such as name equals input what is your name and then it'll ask you your name and you can type that in and if I want to see that again all I need to do now is go print name and that will do that for me so that's how you do a, a simple input for a string now if you're working with numbers or integers you do it slightly differently so I want to know the age so I can do age equals int input what is your age okay so that's going to ask me my age now and store that in age what's your age 27 and if I want to again see that again I can type in print open my brackets and that will work for me now sometimes you have to work with decimals so if I had to add two decimal figures together uh, I'd need to make sure that I use a float so if I go to desk number equals this time it's a float because it's a decimal input please type a decimal number so now I must use a decimal in there although I can use like single digits as well I'm going to do 1.78 and again I can print that desk number out that shows me 1.78 now if you are working with booleans there's only two outcomes really true or false so if I go to boolean uh, let's just say boolean 1 I can either go equals true and remember to use a capital T here or a capital F it is case sensitive now when I print boolean 1 it says it's true but I could say boolean 1 equals false and again I can now print boolean 1 and it tells me it's false now that's just a quick quick guide to show you how you can work with variables and how you make sure you use the correct data types such as integer, float, string and boolean. So that should support the materials. If you have any more questions then refer to the slideshow which also walks you through how to do this. Thank you.